Hey, everybody. I don't have my uh, mic tied into this, so hopefully, hopefully you can hear me. But we are at the Great Sand Dunes. How about that? How great are they? Pretty great. They're pretty great. Medano Creek floods the eastern side of the dunes almost every spring, depositing tons of sand. That sand is picked up by the winds of the San Juan Mountains creating the dunes, the tallest which is over 750 feet. The whole area encompasses about 30 square miles and has only been a national park since 2004. You can get a backpacking pass and yeah, hike in for a couple nights. And it's a great place for night photography as it's far enough away from city lights that you get some deep dark skies and amazing stars. This is definitely a place we're looking forward to checking out again Hopefully sooner than later. Walking the dunes. Walking the dunes. Yep. It's pretty cool. It is pretty cool. Didn't really know what to expect. But I'd say this is a, a do again. Stay a few more days. We're hitting Medano Pass today, so we're dropping down to about 21 pounds per our easy deflator. Medano Pass, I've been wanting to do this trail for quite a while. Probably since I started building this up and I saw it, I thought it'd be a cool pass to do. So I'm pretty excited for this one. This pass is nearly 13 miles long and has a peak of nearly 10,000 feet. We're running it from the dunes back to the east side. So starting off here, airing down is a must. While we only aired down to 21, there were signs advising to air down even lower. We managed to make it through. Some of that sand was pretty, pretty thick and deep. There's also several water crossings on this trail if you're running it in the springtime, some of these could be two to three feet deep. This whole trail is littered with dispersed camping, so pretty cool place to be able to stay the night, spend a couple days on the trail. Heading east on the trail, going through the sand and the water crossings, as you hit the peak, you hit more rock. And coming down the east side, it's a pretty typical Colorado trail, winding through the trees, and some rocky terrain. Not so much the sand anymore. If you're heading west from the east side and get to the dunes, they do have an air up station there. So you can pump your tires back up when you get there. If you're heading this direction as we are, you're gonna wanna make sure you have your own air compressor to be able to air up before you hit the highway. Well, there you have it, uh, Medano Pass. Medano means dunes in Spanish little tidbit for you. Uh, so yeah, Medano Pass, pretty awesome. I was super excited for it. it. Took us about two and a half hours to run through it. So now we're here just uh, re-airing. Yeah, we got this beautiful view over here while we hang out. Top the tires back off again. Good old ARB compressor. It's treated us well more than once. Mm.